Sometimes our cell phones don't last very long. After just 10 months, a busted screen. I'm on the hunt for a new cell phone. On average, Germans buy a new cell phone every two years. In 2013, around 30 million cell phones were sold in Germany. But which one is the right one to buy? My criteria? The materials have to be environmentally friendly and the workers paid a fair wage. So I'm looking for a new cell phone. It should have the latest technology if possible. But it should also be environmentally sustainable. What do you recommend? I can tell you about the phone's technology and about the manufacturing company, but I can't tell you where the different components come from. Unless it's from Apple, their phones come from China. Is there no such thing as a fair trade cell phone? Maybe someone at another store knows more. Have you ever heard of a fair trade cell phone? No idea. <laughs> no, but I can guess what it is. Something like fair trade coffee. Apparently, it's easier to make fair trade coffee than it is to make a fair trade cell phone. The German NGO German Watch has tried to figure out why production lines for cell phones are so complicated. Where is the problem? Fair trade chocolate and coffee are consumed directly by the end buyer. But as many as 30 different metals are needed to make a cell phone. It all starts with mining the materials, then there's the production process, most often done in Asia. Discarded phones frequently end up in Africa, where heavy metals inside the phones can harm the environment. What do you recommend I do with this cell phone? It's difficult. We tell people that it's important to use your cell phone as long as possible. There's also a new type of cell phone coming on the market that is really interesting, a so-called fair phone. This phone tries to address some of these problems. The name sounds promising. My search takes me to the land of tulips, coffee shops and canals. The cell phone company Fairphone is based in Amsterdam. Its environmentally friendlier phone is making headlines around the world. Fairphone has just delivered its first 25,000 phones. So we've been able to identify uh, two of the minerals in the phone, tin and tantalum, that they come from, a, or at least we've joined an initiative that is um, uh, working in the Democratic Republic of Congo and is, uh, comes from certified conflict-free, certified mines. But the other 28 minerals at this point we cannot trace because that's the problem in the industry at the moment is that the tracking and tracing of minerals has become so difficult. So but then in the end is it actually a, a total fair phone or not? Uh, I, I don't think there's any such thing as a fair phone at this point in the industry. It's impossible to trace back where our minerals come from. Um, and the other thing is there's a question what is 100% fair anyway? So no, so our phone, I wouldn't say that it's a fair phone. It's a, it's a starting point to start changing the way things are made. A fair phone that isn't completely fair? I'd rather head back to Berlin without a new phone. My search for a new phone is over for now. I would like to have my phone repaired. The solution, instead of buying a new phone, get a new screen. It's environmentally friendly, fair, and, for 70 euros, relatively cheap. Let's turn it on. It works. Super. After two days of running around, my cell phone works again. Let's hope it stays that way. But I won't be able to buy a truly fair cell phone for a while.